We will now study the electronics part of digital electronics. Digital processing is performed by transistors made from semiconductors. A semiconductor is a material whose conductive properties can be controlled electronically. A semiconductor transistor is a device that uses this property to create an electronic switch. A small current applied as input causes a large current to flow as output. This will be the foundation for the implementation of binary logic. Because semiconductor technology is electronic, it has several advantages over mechanical machinery. Semiconductor devices are microscopic, operating essentially at the molecular level. They are therefore lighter and switch more quickly than mechanical machines. They are energy efficient and they are generally more durable. Semiconductors are made from highly purified silicon, one of the most commonly occurring elements on Earth. Silicon is a valency 4 element. Each atom can form covalent bonds with its four neighbors and thereby form a regular silicon crystal. The conductive properties of the silicon crystal can be seen by placing an external voltage source, such as a battery, across the crystal. Negatively charged valence electrons will diffuse from the negative to the positive terminals of the voltage source, resulting in a continuous flow of charge. Since it is relatively difficult to remove a valence electron, the flow obtained is quite weak. When a valence electron is removed from an atom, it leaves behind a positively charged valence gap called a hole. As the electrons diffuse from negative to positive, the holes appear to move from positive to negative. Thus, the same diffusion of electrons can be thought of as the movement of holes in the opposite direction. The conductivity of a semiconductor can be improved by adding a very small concentration of impurities. This process is known as doping. Doping has the effect of increasing the concentration of freely moving charges, or charge carriers, in the semiconductor. Doping comes in two types. Negative or n-type doping is obtained by replacing a small number of silicon atoms by a valency 5 element, such as phosphorus. N-type doping introduces electrons that are not stuck in a covalent bond. These electrons can therefore freely move from the negative to the positive of the voltage source. For this reason, we say that in an N-type semiconductor, the majority charge carriers are electrons. Positive or p-type doping is obtained by replacing a small number of silicon atoms by a valency 3 atom, such as aluminium. p-type doping introduces holes that then move freely from the positive to the negative of the voltage source. For the p-type semiconductor, the majority charge carriers are holes. The presence of either excess electrons, as in the n-type, or excess holes, as in the p-type, greatly increases the conductivity of semiconductors. Furthermore, by putting these together as layers, we create devices, called transistors, whose conductivity can be controlled electronically.